What has been the business impact on the organizations that have been breaches? Clearly, they get they have fines, but mm -hmm. they also have um, they also have insurance, as you as you stated earlier. Um, there doesn't seem to have been any major blowback in terms of the the revenue and and the profit of organizations that have um, that have experienced large data breaches. Well, it, it, true. It, it, I think that's a valid statement. And it comes down to, from your business, again, what's the business objective of cybersecurity? Is it to prevent 100% of the breaches? Is it, um, is it a marketing aspect? I, I have a, a client I'm working with, and I, I spoke to the CEO. Uh, she said specifically, objective one, we need to protect the data. Objective two is we want to use security as a marketing tool. Um, perhaps your business objectives uh, talk about uh, the ability to share more data overseas. Um, perhaps you're worried about compliance. So you really need to understand what the business objectives are to build a security program. You can't protect, you can't defend against everything. Um, you know, insurance is there, it's designed to fill those slots. You know, maybe you only want to be 95% secure and you want to insure the rest. Um, yeah. So what's the direct impact? An interesting article I read, Bill, um, they talk about healthcare specific, how the cost of marketing goes up post-breach. So healthcare organizations that have been breached, how their, their, their marketing budget the two years following goes up. So those, there are some direct costs, um, but it's not enough to shut companies down. Um, recently, OCR um, made some announcements saying that the actual caps for HIPAA breaches are going to go decrease. Um, yeah. So it is, it is difficult. And that, that's why board members and organizations are struggling with the concept of how secure do we have to be um, if they're not seeing a lot of direct tie of revenue to those breaches.